Hey everyone, it's Exo Man, and boy, do I have something really cool to show you. I, right now, am building a stove, a cooking stove, a four block rocket stove. It's called a rocket stove, it's not a traditional rocket stove, but it is similar enough in design that people call these rocket stoves. So here's how we do it we take one block, stand it on end, we take another block, lay it down with the block wall facing up. Okay, now I've, I've got a special block here that I've cut the end off of. It's just a regular cinder block, but I've cut the end off of it. And the reason for that is that that will form my heat riser, my burn chamber. And then I take a fourth block and lay it on top like so. And then take a look at this. This is where the fuel will go. Branches, sticks, twigs, kindling. Uh, even small uh, small logs if if you want that and there's your heat riser or your chimney and you put uh, you can put a cooking grate whatever you have I have a little stove grate here you want uh, you want this as shallow as possible you know this is a, this is a little bit high uh, the lower profile the better because you don't want a bunch of wind kicking through here because you're going to be cooking outside um, so the idea with this, this type of design is, is efficiency. With a, with a minimum, a minimal amount of fuel, you can get an extraordinary amount of heat. So it's going to cook very efficiently and you're not going to be going through a whole bunch of uh, fuel. You're going to be maximizing on, on that output. Um, and so we'll, uh, if, if you just have these four blocks sitting around, you always have a rocket stove at hand and ready to use when you need it, okay? So we're going to uh, get, some, get some fuel and light it up and do some cooking and show you how it works. Alright, so I want to insert a couple of things really quickly. Uh, one is that I wasn't happy with the way that I cut this block, so I've recut it. Let me show you. I cut the front out of it. See this, this part here. A cut here and a cut here rather than cutting the whole end off the block and that that gives me a better some better lines everything's lined up better and I've put a half block on top here you could use half blocks to build this whole thing basically but I think I think full blocks are more stable uh, by the way the way I cut that is by using a cement saw on my circular saw or sorry a cement blade on my circular saw okay and finally uh, safety of course, this is a, just a demonstration, and I wanted to have this up against my structure here so I could control my wind. But uh, yeah, be safe and be smart. It would, would, wooden structures can easily catch fire if you have a mishap. You don't. You definitely don't want to cook with uh, heavy grease like deep. You don't want to deep fry things out here and uh, or on your wooden deck. Uh, I've been cooking on wooden decks for 30, 40 years. And, but I've done so carefully near a water source and I don't deep fry out here. Um, but yeah, be, be safe and if you ha have any concerns, keep your stove away from your structures. Okay, so we're ready to go. I've got some, some leaves here. I'm going to drop those down into there. And um, this can out of the way. And I'm going to put some sticks in there you'll see coming through there. Mm -hmm. We're going to use the smaller sticks at first. Oh, let, let me show you this option. This is a lot of people like to use a heat vent. This is just a tin can. You can take this tin can, use this, I'm sorry, it's an air vent. You use that under your sticks. Mm -hmm. There you've got an air intake, okay? You can crush that down as much as you want. Just leave enough room for it to get through there and you can still get plenty of fuel in there you're gonna get good circulation with that Let's stick a few more of these in here okay and then we will light the fire there you go. I see smoke. Where there is smoke, there's fire. <laughs> so 
that's why you want to have your uh, air vent so that you don't have your, yourself a bunch of smoke. Pretty cool. Yeah, so we got a nice little fire started in there, and we'll start to put uh, some larger fuel in just a bit here. And you don't need to overfeed it. You want to slowly adjust your uh, fuel to you have a nice flame. <coughs> Get some nice embers going in the back there, and not so much smoke, and then you can begin cooking. Okay, so you see we've got a nice fire going really quickly here, and that I'm not going to use that because that's that's just a rush of, of fire, and I don't have enough embers built up down below there. I still want to wait a little longer. Um, for we I have lunch? Yeah, <laughs> I know you're hungry for them. Uh, we're going to cook some burgers. We're going to try to cook some burgers, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So in a little while I'll have a bed of embers down there and then I can feed it and control it more delicately and not have as much uh, smoke. Oh yeah, that's burning very nicely. We could burn the house down if we were a little closer. Yeah. In fact, we can kick this out a little bit just to be on the safe side because I've got it on a nice riser there. Now this is something you can do out in your yard. Uh, or you can tuck it up against a structure where you don't have as much wind and you have a little more control. When I was a kid, I remember living in a trailer and the electricity was shut off. We had just moved to the outskirts of a, of a southern town and lived, lived in a, an old rundown trailer court way out in the country. And with the power being off, we had no way to cook. So my brother and I dug a hole in the in the outside of the trailer in the ground and put an old refrigerator grate over it and we use that to cook so this is a this is a far better system than cooking over a hole in the but ground. But that was pretty ingenious. Yeah yeah we could <laughs> we went to the store and bought a, a pack of weenies and, uh, and <laughs> the, there were some nights there we had dinner we literally cooked outside yeah. for our survival. I could have used I could have used four bricks like this back then. Yeah. Man's made some delicious burgers. Mm. Well, they wouldn't be delicious yet, would they? They would be. They Farm, smell really good. Farm Girl <laughs> says that the uh, pan is nice and hot. Yeah, it is definitely hot. Yeah, and it's not like really hot all the way around it, you know? Yeah. You don't even, you don't even just put your hand on there. Yeah. Very efficient. We have Munster, Swiss, and Havarti. Oh, oh my gosh. Man. I want Munster. How do we choose? You can have one of each. <laughs> this is definitely cheat. Cheat Monday. Yeah. Oh, we're gonna have we're gonna quickly have some medium rare burgers here. And this is, tell us about the beef. This is beef from our farm that we buy from uh, nice Angus Clean Grass, uh, grass Fed. Grass fed. Yep. Yep. And, uh, cruelty free. We love the farmers. Uh, what is it? Free? Cruelty free. Cruelty free, absolutely. Yeah. Mm, kind of like so you. Your, your grade A. Great A farm girl, and oh. you're, you're, not, you're treated kindly. <laughs> <laughs> I am treated kindly. <laughs> kindly. Cruelty free farm girl. All right. oh, we're going to be eating like Huns in a minute here. Oh, I'm hungry. <laughs> Good. 
Hungry. Powerful hungry. <laughs> <laughs> that is hot. Poe says, what kind of cheese do I get? What's on my burger, Mom? Floor cheese. <laughs> hmm? Floor cheese. <laughs> Whatever falls on the floor. Now you can see, even with the, uh, with the little bit of, you've got some cracks in here, we're still cooking real hot. Cooking just fine. Uh, not enough heat is escaping. It's just giving it extra ventilation, actually. Yeah, that's cooking really well. Yeah, cooking fast and really well. Mm. And uh, you haven't put a whole heck of a lot of fuel in there. No. We're going to do their little avocado seed trick. Show you that real quick. Nice. You know how to do that, right, people? You just. Tap your knife into your seed and twist and it comes right out and then you take it in your trash, bang it right off. Nice. There you go. There you go. This onion smells so good. Mmm. Mmm. Mama says they're medium rare and ready to serve. Mmm. Mm. Yummy. That'll work. I'm very excited about this. <laughs> <laughs> a, she's a beef eater, folks. <laughs> this is not a vegan. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Don't eat the spatula. Mm. Yum. I'll leave that there. This is my nice, awesome little enamel, uh, cast iron enamel pan. You want some jalapenos, farm girl? 